Hi and welcome to the session. I am Shashi. Let us do one question. Question is, a manufacturer produces three products X, Y, Z, which he sells in two markets. Annual sales are indicated below. Market first has annual sales of 10,000, 2,000, 18,000 for the products X, Y, Z, and the second market has the annual sales of 6,000, 20,000. 8000 for the products XYZ. Now, first part is if unit sale prices of XY and Z are rupees 2.50, rupees 1.50, and rupees 1 respectively, find the total revenue in each market with the help of the matrix. Now, B part of the question is if the unit cost of the above three commodities are rupees 2. Rupees 1 and 50 paise respectively. Find the gross profit. Now let us start with the solution. First of all, we will represent the sales of the product as a metric notation. So we can write annual sales of product XYZ. In two markets, are given in a matrix A. As A is equal to matrix 10,000, 2,000, 18,000, 6,000, 20,000, 8,000. Now, the rows represent the annual sales of the two markets and the columns represent the annual sales of the three products that is X, Y, Z. Similarly, we will represent the unit sale prices as metric notation. Now, the unit selling prices of X, Y, Z are given in a matrix B as B is equal to matrix 2.50, 1.50, We know total revenue is given by AB. So, we get total revenue is equal to AB. Now, we will multiply both the matrix to find the total revenue for each market. So, we can write matrix 10,000, 2,000, 18,000, 6,000, 20,000, 8,000 multiplied by matrix 2.50, 1.50, 1. Now, we will multiply the matrices and get 10,000 multiplied by 2.50 plus 2,000 multiplied by 1.50 plus 18,000 multiplied by 1. This element we have obtained after multiplying the first row with this first column. Now, we will multiply the second row with second column and get 6000 multiplied by 2.50 plus 20,000 multiplied by 1.50 plus 8000 multiplied by 1. On simplifying, we get the matrix 46,000, 53,000. So, total revenue for the first part is given by the matrix 46,053,000. So, we can write total revenue in market first is equal to rupees 46,000 and the total revenue in market second is equal to rupees 53,000. As we know, the rows represent the two markets. Now, let us start the B part of the question. B part of the question is, if the unit cost of the above three commodities are rupees 2, rupees 1 and 50 paise respectively, find the gross profit. So, now let us start with the solution of the B part. The unit cost of the three commodities are given by the matrix C. C 
थ्री इज इक्वल टू मेट्रिक्स टू वन पॉइंट फाइव जीरो हेयर वी वर गिवन फिफ्टी पैसा इन द क्वेश्चन सो फिफ्टी पैसा इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट फाइव जीरो रुपीज सो दैट्स वाई वी हैव रिटर्न हेयर पॉइंट फाइव जीरो हाउ टोटल कॉस्ट ऑफ इच मार्केट इज इक्वल टू ए सी You know, A is equal to matrix ten thousand, two thousand, eighteen thousand, six thousand, twenty thousand, eight thousand, and see we can see this matrix two one zero point five zero. Now we can see there are three columns in matrix A and three rows in matrix C. Since the number of columns of matrix A is equal to number of rows of matrix C, so their product is defined. So we can write ten thousand multiplied by two plus two thousand multiplied by one plus eighteen thousand multiplied by zero point five. Second element is six thousand multiplied by two plus twenty thousand multiplied by one plus eight thousand multiplied by point five zero matrix. Now, on simplifying, we get the matrix thirty one thousand, thirty six, thousand, thirty eight thousand, and Now we know profit matrix is equal to total revenue matrix minus total cost matrix. We have obtained above in A part total revenue matrix as forty six thousand, fifty three thousand minus total cost matrix is thirty one thousand, thirty six thousand. Now this is further equal to matrix fifteen thousand. Seventeen thousand. So we can see the profit in market first is equal to rupees fifteen thousand, and the profit in market second is equal to rupees seventeen thousand. Since the rows represent the two markets, so profits are represented by these rows. So our final answer is. Total revenue in market first is equal to rupees forty six thousand. Total revenue in market second is equal to rupees fifty three thousand. For the A part, and solution for the B part is gross profit in market one is equal to rupees fifteen thousand, and gross profit in second market is equal to rupees seventeen thousand. This completes the session. Hope you understood the session. Take care and goodbye.